welcome to the Learning Lab. My name is Miss Blair, and I am so glad you decided to join me today here at the Learning Lab. It's Math Talk Monday, and we're going to be learning about our shapes. Come on over and let me show you. Here you see we have a ton of shapes in our shape family, and we're going to learn about each one of them over the next few weeks. What is something you notice about the shapes? Think about it for a second. Use your thinking brain and tell Ms. Blair, what is something that you notice about the shapes? I notice that the shapes are different colors and they're different sizes. But I also notice that the shapes have different names. Now, let's go over the names of the shapes. I'd like you to listen and repeat after me. I will point to the shape, and then I would like you to repeat the name after me. Rectangle, circle, square, triangle, hexagon, oval, rhombus. Sometimes he could be called a diamond, but in the learning lab, we're going to call him rhombus trapezoid, and octagon. Let's go over those one more time. I'd like you to listen and repeat after me again. Rectangle, circle, square, triangle, hexagon, oval, rhombus, trapezoid, and octagon. Now, take a good look at our shapes one more time. One of our shapes looks a little bit different from all of the others. That's right, it's Mr. Circle. Today, we're gonna to learn about Mr. Circle. I'm gonna take Mr. Circle down, and we're gonna do a little bit of talking about him. Here is Mr. Circle. Take a good look at him. A circle is round. A circle does not have any sides or corners. It's just round, kind of like a cookie or a coin. Now, the circle is one of the easiest shapes that we're going to learn about. So let's head over to our writing board and practice drawing a circle. Now, if you have paper and pencil at home or a dry erase board and a dry erase marker at home, feel free to follow along with me as I practice drawing a circle. Now, as we said, we write from top to bottom. So I'm going to start on the top of my blue line to draw my circle. I'll start here and I'll go around and back up to the top of the line. Now, it doesn't have to be perfect. Just give it your best shot. Let's do another one. Start at the top and bring it around and back up. Good job, you're doing awesome. Let's do one more. We'll start at the top and bring it around. Awesome job. Could you hold your paper up so that I can see your circle? Good job, absolutely perfect. We've learned a lot about the circle today. How about we head over to our learning lab table so that we can apply what we've learned today. Follow me. Here we are at our learning lab table. Now, I have six objects right here in front of me, and we're going to sort them by looking at the sides and the corners and telling, is the object a circle or not? If it is a circle, we're going to place it by the smiley face where it says it is a circle. If the object is not a circle, we're going to place it under the sad face where it says it is not a circle. Before we begin, let me tell you what our objects are. I have a top, a quarter, a lock, a key, a clip, and a yummy, yummy oatmeal pie. Let's start with the top. Is it round like a circle with no sides and no corners? Correct, it is. So we're going to place it right there. Next, I have the quarter. Is it 
round with no sides and no corners. Absolutely. We'll move it right there. The next one is a lock. Is it round with no sides and no corners? No. So we're going to put it where it has the sad face. All right, three left. You can do it. We have the key next. Is it round with no sides and no corners? Nope. We're going to place it under the sad face. It is not a circle. Next, we have a clip. Is the clip round? Absolutely not. We'll put it under the sad face. And last but certainly not least, we have the oatmeal pie. Is it round? Does it have no sides and no corners? Awesome, you're doing amazing. So we're gonna put our yummy oatmeal pie where the circles are as well. Now we have three circles, one, two, three, and three objects that are not circles. One, two, three. I think you did awesome, good job. But I think it's time for Mr. Circle to go back into our shape family until our next map talk. Now, my challenge to you is to find some circles around your home and practice drawing circles. I will see you soon.